Russia, China countries, Russia, China, East Germany, and Romania. And this is the reigning world floor champion, Emilia Eberle from Romania. I think Eberle looks particularly trim this time. She looks far fitter. A nice double back pike somersault to open. Very unusual tactic this. They put Eberle first on the floor. Now she's their senior competitor. Now there's no common edge. Very unusual, Monica. It is indeed, and I think that they're possibly hoping that the marks will rise throughout the round. A very, very strong middle tumble there with two semisaults linked together to give her high scoring value and a very, very lively dance to follow. Three circles on her hands there. That rates as a C move, the most difficult grading that you get in gymnastics. And a double twisting back somersault to finish with. Everly starts very securely on the floor. Big reaction from this crowd. The stadium now virtually full. All 17 and a half thousand of them. I don't think that the, although the routine was lovely, and we see here the elegance, lovely head position, nice jump. I don't think that it's quite a, a world winner. Whilst it's beautiful, a nice Arab spring into a split jump and showing tremendous variation of skills, which floor routines are all about. Now, I think it's fair to say Eberle probably now passed her best. And she scores, though, 9.65. That's a good start for her. Now to asymmetric bars, we see the Chinese Wu Jiani. A beautiful performance. Stalled at a handstand, beat the bar. This is artistry and a beautiful move. Straddle over the bar to catch an eagle catch. Into her a dockler. Some absolutely beautiful somersaults and handstands with exquisite lines. And the heck tough back somersault to man. She had everything in that. Monica, it looks as if we might see the Chinese women picking up where the men left off. That really was beautiful originality and elegance in their optional exercises. This, to me, is what the sport is all about. And the score is 9.85. Now the little girl who's really got the crowd going, Olga Bicharova from Russia. She is just beautiful. A lovely vault, really pert. She's good to score well on that one, that full twisting. 9.75. Now it's Davidova to go. The variety of vaults are interesting. A full twist on and a full twist off and a very good landing. That the vault that she used in the Olympics, Davidova, of course, the Olympic champion. Full twist on, a little late, so she doesn't get quite the thrust off that she should. But I think it should just pip Becherova's score. Waiting anxiously for the score. 9.8, an excellent mark. Now let's see whether Chen Wenyan from China can continue in the same way as Wu Jiani on the asymmetric bars. That's a grand circle, a giant circle. A full twisting Chrysler, which is an excellent extremely difficult movement. One foot onto the bar, half turn and a pike back somersault dismount. We just see during this the bar beat. The bars are particularly mobile. One hand onto the bar, the full twist on the bottom bar, balances herself with her legs wide. A 9.8 to score, a lovely exercise. Now, the East Germans, of course, very much in contention, and Maxi Gnauk 
the Olympic civil medalist there, a very original dismount. She does a flip flack actually up onto the beam. Maxi is a tremendously strong performer, whilst not perhaps one of the most elegant. In the end, what counts is whether or not they can actually stay on this piece of wood only four inches wide. And there we have a flick flack into a somersault with just a minimal movement on landing. Maxi, a great technician. Always missed out at the very top level. Bad wobble there. And a lost combination, John. Two moves should have been linked together. Maxi, a bit of a Cinderella character. She's always coming second. Can this be her championship? And a lovely finish. And the East German crowd greet her. They, are, they adore her. And she even turns around, gives them a smile and a wave. Isn't that nice? Now we see the Arab spring into the somersault with two twists and a still landing we're looking for in a team competition no deductions at all on the landings and she achieved that little bit of attention but she scores 9.8 now one of your favorites i know monica the graceful natalia elienka oh not so graceful there Oh, it's a fingertip job. She's off. Well, can she recover? That must be a heavy deduction, John. Well, enormous deduction there. So surprising. But they were even saying in the Russian papers this morning that there she was right up the top with Davidova. But she's renowned for being a little bit brittle. And there it was borne out. There's some beautiful moves following, but uh, this is only one piece. Full twisting, dismount, and... She won't be smiling. Well, it must be down to 9.2 before we even start. So it should be under 9, I think, Monica. Well, I would think well under 9. But remember, we do have a Russian superior judge. But we do have some superior moves in that stalled at a handstand and rising right up above the bar before she goes into her dismount round, using the legs to initiate her twist. nine point two well well a little overrated when we've just seen the world champions score nine point nine for a perfect exercise earlier on this is chen wenyan from china on the beam the chinese girls haven't been quite so secure on this piece of apparatus well, they are so superb. They've set their standards in the eyes of the audience and the judges so high on the bars. They have to maintain it. We call what uh, is going on at the moment Chen Wen Yang is looking at the beam all the time, showing lack of confidence. We call this in the sport beam hunting. And she's... Oh, and the Russian director's cut away to Davidova. Understandably, the Russians interested in their own people and here the Olympic champion on the A-bars. Struggling in that handstand. She's got a lot to match. Strata somersault over circling and swinging quite freely. Now she seems to be controlling the exercise. Lovely pirouette there on the top bar. Oh, and a shoot front somersault to landing. Davidova so secure. 
was a lovely exercise, but in my opinion, not the best of the day, whilst it was excellent. Here we see the upstart, one of the basic elements in gymnastics, and the preparation for what's called a shoot front dismount in a piked position. And showing a stable, still landing position. And 9.9 .9 to score. And Chen Wenyan of China finished on the beam with 9.7. Now Olympic silver medalist on the floor from East Germany, Maxi Gnauk. After a brilliant beam routine, let's see what she can produce. This, one of her strongest pieces. Well, that really was a mistake. Something's gone wrong. She should have done a double back there. And it's her tumbling that's usually her great strength. She's not marvellous on the dance things. She gets all her marks on her tumbling, so that's a disaster. And there must be something wrong. That's on both takeoff points she stopped. Yes, it's perhaps an injury. Yes, it looks as though her left foot is a little sore. Definitely injury of some sort. It must be an ankle. And for Maxi Nauk to actually retire from the floor, it looks very serious to me, Monica. Well, she must have taken a carefully calculated decision. She's able to walk off. And she really what the team are going to do without her, I don't quite know. We'll look at this slow motion action and see if we can see where it went wrong. No real sign there, but she obviously did something dramatic and that's, I mean, that's a terrible thing to happen for her because she's, of course, really virtually ruled out of the top 36 competition, the individual competition as well, because she can't possibly score more than two or three marks for that routine. Oh, no, she just more or less made an appearance on the floor, but it's the impact on takeoff that causes this kind of an injury. And whether or not she's going to have to retire totally, or whether they're going to be able to wave a magic sponge, I don't know. Well, she's still got the vault to come, so that's another high-impact piece of apparatus on the ankles. It's a real disaster, because now the other five of the East German team have got to put in perfect performances every time if East Germany, the bronze medalists at the last World Championships, are to have a chance. Well, Maxi's score has come up and the audience are astounded. She's only got a score of 2.5, which really affects her in the individual performance. But of course, we hope we have the strength and depth of the team to rely on. She's looking very sad. Poor old Maxi, and she was hoping for so much at these championships, having come second so often. Perhaps this will uh, shake Steffi Craker into action, because Steffi has been not really working brilliantly. This is Chu Cheng from China now as we go to the floor. And that's a disaster too. Pull in back, back out and she fell. And that, just in the background there, Maxi Gnauk racing through picture. She's actually got onto the vault and she's landed it. The Chinese, whilst they are absolutely superb on some pieces of apparatus, here seem to lack the power like the men, they were dynamic on floor, and the women just don't have that edge of strength to perform successfully the big tumbles. We do look on floor for intricate and original dance sequences in between the tumbles to punctuate the exercise before double twisting somersaults as we've just seen. A nice routine but not really powerful enough to get in the big score John. No and with that fall at the beginning I'm afraid the Chinese are rather losing their whole direction they didn't do well on the beam. 895 to score 
And I think the cause of that was the tumble that we just saw on the opening tumble. A tumble on a tumble. Came a real cropper. Maxi now, there it is, the slow motion replay of her vault. And there was no holding back on that takeoff, Monica. A full twisting Sukahara to land, of course. The takeoff is worse on a backward takeoff, and this is forward, and she mastered that. And she scored an incredible 9.9. .9, the rear philosopher of Russia on the floor. This little performer is dynamite, and she can be so elegant. She looks so young, Monica, and yet she's the oldest in the Russian team, isn't she? She's 20, I think. Yes, she's the captain. And she sets a tremendous example in her attitude in competition. And in her performance, this is beautiful. take everything so seriously they even have stripes down the leotards to enhance their length because they are very very short gymnasts the preparation to the last tumble and it's got to be a big one to get into the top group and it is double back pike somersault to finish beautifully executed does everything so well she knows even when to smile absolutely delighted with herself and rightly so i have seen her land on her head in that before she's made a good recovery and the russian crowd not only appreciative of their own team they know more about gymnastics than crowds anywhere else in the world it's nice to see the team spirit to see them waiting for each other to come off the floor and greet. There's Ala Shishiva, the reserve, a good gymnast, watching. Hear this extension, the wide arm into the Arab spring, the jump to get length into the back flips, a full twisting somersault, followed by a flick flack, followed by another full twisting somersault, which gives extreme difficulty into the routine. Here's the full twist to land. And she knew exactly where she was going all the time in that one. Still anxiously awaiting the roof, Mark. It's always a tense moment. There it is, 9.7. That's a good start for the Russians on the floor. Natalia Ilyenko now, waiting to go on the floor, still looking very solemn after her rather disastrous bar routine. She is elegance personified, just see her in action. Well, she might have ruined her chances in the individual competition, but still important for her team that she puts in a really good floor exercise. Double twisting somersault there for the middle tumble, so we are looking possibly for a, a double somersault at the end of this most elegant routine. She is just selling it and living every minute of it. Now take a breath, Natalia. Into the last tumble, girl. And it is double backpacked, and she nailed it. 
Well, that was a beautiful routine. The use of her arms, the choreography, that is the makeup of the floor routine. The Russians really delve into this in tremendous detail. Coach, please. What a pity she seems to have this problem with her floor routines. There we see the tumbling exercise. In the tumbling routine in the middle, that was the double tuck back somersault at the beginning of the exercise. Waiting anxiously for the score, she's still not happy. She can't get the memory of that bars exercise. But there it is, 9.9. .9. That must make her feel better. So, despite earlier setbacks for East... Welcome back. The second best performer in the East German team on her asymmetric bar exercise. Whoops, a little bit of unbalance here. Forward sole circle and the somersault to recatch called a Corbett into upstarts and she's going to continue. Very difficult for a, such a tall girl to get a complete circle in. Full twist there. Now to the dismount. Shoot front and then full twist in it. Good routine from Steffi Kraker. These Germans, since that disaster with Maxi, have really come back very strongly, but at the moment, the Romanians still in front of them, and I don't think they can get third place. I think these Germans will put the pressure on the Romanians with routines like this. There we see that somersault that was first introduced by Olga Corbett, who is, in fact, in the audience watching the championships. Steffi Craker, very big girl, 9.75. Should be very pleased with that. Now we see Maxi Gnaukon bars following Steffi's good routine. She's bettering it with lines like that, stalled at a handstand. Very good shapes in all of her movements. She's extremely strong on bars. Short clear to handstand, and another, and the shoot front dismount with a Barani out, which is a half twist in the semaphore. Marvellous effort there by Maxi. Really a traumatic night for her. After that injury, many people would have dropped out, but she's come back to anchor this East German team. She's really done a tremendous job for them. And I suppose they're not quite out of it for the medals, but although they're still in fourth place at the moment, I think they might have slipped even further. A triumph for her. Marvellous effort. What a tough little competitor she is. 9.95, no wonder she's smiling. A tremendous mark. That's the highest mark of the night. Yes, the highest. She's even beaten the world champion on the A-bars, and the East German crowds will just love that. But the Russians continuing on the floor, little Olga Bicharova, they now know that they must win the team title here. So let's just watch her. A little girl who's taking these championships by storm. enjoys performing just as much as we enjoy watching her. And a beautiful high double back somersault tucked to finish. She had a full twisting double back somersault as an opener and another double somersault at the end. That was just tremendous. 
we are going to see an awful lot more of little Olga Becherova. Anxiously now awaiting the score. Polina Astakova there, delighted with her little darling's performance. Yeah, one of her tumbling routines, arrow spring, flick flack, one twist and a half. Comes out of it, facing forwards. And there, another twist at the end and she scores 9.8. Now, over to Beam, the pressure is on the Romanians, and here we have Christina Gregoris on Beam with the... This is a Barani, one of her unusual moves, but a big wobble. She looks really unsteady. Flat-footed and not on her toes. The pressure is on her to hold the Romanians in bronze medal position. Gregoris, one of the most experienced members of the Romanian team, but she's not really going with great confidence. Oh, and she's off. And she looks so tatty. She really looks untidy. That is a disaster. I'm not certain, but I have a feeling that that position for third place, Monica, is so close that could have done it. But she must lose nine. She must lose point five. No, oh, I think that perhaps we've said goodbye to it already. Stalling for the finish, a deduction here for time wasting because she's standing too long. A good dismount, but the dismount just isn't enough. We'll wait and see what the score is. I'm sure she's bitterly disappointed. She certainly looked a lot less tidy than when I saw her last perform in the World Cup in Toronto, but she's grown a lot since then, and uh, sometimes I think the girls find that difficult to handle, Monica. Oh, it's extremely difficult. It alters their levers, it alters their points of balance. And their attitude changes. We see here the double back somersault, dismount, a cowboy tuck with the legs apart. They, we see this constantly in gymnastics. Ultimately, they'll tidy it up. But they're a very, very disappointed girl. Tears and... I think she knows that she's actually blown that medal. Certainly showing it as if she does. Score of 9-0. And I'm sure that that has said goodbye to the bronze medal. The Romanians who were world champions. Well now, Davidova securing the knowledge that the marks of her teammates who've gone before has already won the Russians the team championship, she can really go through this exercise as a celebration. now approaching 20, can just put in the correct amount of sex appeal to make a routine choreographed so well as this look beautiful. everybody to watch. She is so cheesy. And how's about that, she says. A beautiful routine. We've seen it performed once before, but not quite with the maturity. I think that exceeded the performance that we saw in Moscow. And the Russian crowd happy. They were a little bit worried before this women's competition because the Chinese and the East Germans in particular were too close, but the Russian girls have streaked away from them. And they have the emotion suddenly all tumbling out. 
really enjoying themselves. And it's really an incredible performance from them, Monica. Oh, it was really superb. That routine was shown at the Olympic Games, but now to see it again at a World Championship improved, because we thought it couldn't be improved then. Here we see that fantastic one and a half twisting front. The punch means that they take off and land. 9.85, a superb performance by Davidova. Now the Russians ready to take the podium. Anxiously looking around, they even want to make sure that they get this right. Little Vita over at the end. There they are, the glorious six. Natalia Ilyenko, Elena Polivea, Stella Zakharova, Elena Davidova, Maria Filatova, and little Olga Vicharova. And Yuri Titov, the president of the International Gymnastics Federation, puts the medals around their neck. A moment for them to savor because they've got the world championship back from Romania. In Rotterdam.